Hey y'all, it's Madeline Lorelai, and today do something related but a little bit different. Um, sorry for the weird light. The sun moved on me. Sorry. Um, so I was out today looking around on my property, and I have a lot of tattoos, and I wanted to get another tattoo. I have a lot of naturey ones, and I wanted to find like a kind of a local fern-like plant, which is like right here. I don't know what this is, but I like the shape of it, and so I wanted to get it and like learn about it and uh, design a tattoo around it. But, so I figured while we were out here, I brought my foraging slash mushroom hunting bag, and I thought we would go over what I take on like a little mushroom hunt, like nothing to where like I would be way out in the woods. If I'm way out in the woods, I'm taking different stuff and taking more things, but something where like if I'm going around like a local state park where I know there are going to be people who are like coming around checking for people um where if I know like I know very well where I am you know if I'm on family land where I know where I am um I might not take as much stuff because like this is for situations where I pretty well know for a fact and you hate to say that because people you know I know the survivalists freak out and so you never know for a fact in all likelihood, if I'm in a, I'm going to carry something like this in a place where if I'm in all likelihood, I'm not going to get lost, have to spend the night there. Um, it is important to know skills that would help you if you did and to carry more things if you think there's more of a chance. But either way, with that disclaimer out of the way, so the bag I take, I'll do it the button to show you. I mentioned it in the last mushroom hunt video we did, is just a little linen bag it's actually a replica of like a World War, uh, not World War II, a Civil War bag. Um, bought it from like a historical store. I really like it. It's just a very sturdy one. I uh, waxed the canvas it's made out of and I did, also did the embroidery on it, which I thought was very, very cute. But it's just a nice little shoulder bag. I like shoulder bags for doing this sort of thing. Um, this usually goes inside the bag, but I'll show you. I always carry water with me. Um, so very important to stay hydrated. I carry just this little insulated bottle, which I did sew on a little leather wrist strap if I want to carry it separate from the bag and carry it out if it's really hot out. Very important where I live, um, and you can buy different brands of this. There's just one that I happen to have on hand right now. Um, insect repellent. I use, I'm using super high deep horrible insect repellent. The moment I walked out here, and it is about to cool off, it's just autumn here, it's still, they swarm. The mosquitoes here are absolutely terrible, so, I mean, they, they will pack you back to the house. They will make you leave. So, insect repellent, super important. In my pocket, I have a fire starter, like a cigarette lighter, um, carrying like ferrocene rod. Fire starter is a really good idea. I always carry something to start a fire with just in case, you know, that's the survival-y type of it, uh, part of it. I also always have a pocket knife on me. That's just I do. So I do carry a bigger knife with me when I'm going foraging. You might need to cut you cut mushroom stems, you cut plant stems, you cut bark off trees if you're uh, collecting bark, all sorts of things. Uh, it's usually one of these two for me. This is I actually inherited this. It's very near and dear to me. Um, is a case X um, a case X, uh, double X. Shark Tooth, Special Edition, like it was a, I inherited that knife, um, very near and dear to me. It was a dearly departed great uncle's buck knife, and it does come in this lovely little case, so I can't put that on my belt if I want to. And same with this one, this is one, so for those who don't know, I'm a professional blacksmith, tanner, and leather worker. That's what I do for a living. Um, little buckskin sheath on just a very small, this is my favorite knife. I use this knife for everything. You saw it in the uh, video I did on the mushroom strap. Um, the mushroom uh, knife strap. It's just a, it's a short blade. You do not need a big, gigantic, bushcraft, machete-looking knife. I have one. I carry it hunting with me, and I do other things with it. For this sort of thing, you do not need a giant machete unless you are chopping down trees. Like, unless you are cutting through brush. Um, I don't carry an axe with me on these things either for the same reason. If I'm just cutting plant stems, a little bitty knife does. For reference, uh, just for, not reference, but for, um, transparency sake. This is also what I use to skin out deer. 
like or anything else if I go hunting or anything. I like a small knife. It works better. You can do more things with a small knife. You know, you don't you don't want to be the person playing Rambo with a giant knife struggling to do fine tasks because most of the things you're doing in the woods are going to be fine motor skill type tasks, not big gigantic chopping tasks. But so one of those two knives. I always carry a bandana with me, uh, just a strip of cloth. This can be improvised into a ton of different things. Um, it can be quick bandages if need be, like you get a cut or something like that. Um, you can tie it up into a bag if you need an extra bag to hold something. Um, you know, just cleaning, wiping your hands, wiping sweat, you know, get dirty, get mud on you, it doesn't matter. A rag is something really nice to carry with you. So I always carry a bandana. I always carry a little roll of cord. This is just 115 pound, 115 pound test catfish line. That's what I prefer. Uh, I fish with it and it's just, it's a great cord for doing any kind of outdoorsy stuff. They sell it in thicker uh, sizes, but I use the 115. That's what I have, that's what I'm carrying. Inside this bag, I have, this is actually for holding your clothes at the beach, but it's just a little mesh bag that wads up really fine, really, you know, palm size. This is what I collect most mushrooms in, like if I'm hunting chanterelles, if I'm hunting oysters, anything where like if I'm more than likely going to find a lot of them, if I, if I find any, that's what this one's for. Um, anything that's big enough to not fall through the holes in it, um, that's what I use. Pretty much only for my, I don't think I've ever collected anything in this aside from mushrooms. It's pretty much just my mushroom bag. I also carry a separate bag. Um, this is what we call a leg bag, which is just, uh, this is the bottom of a leg that I cut off when I was making a uh, pair of shorts out of a pair of pants. And you just turn it inside out, sew up one seam, and tear open the hem on the bottom to make, and add a cord to make a drawstring. Generally, this is more for like medicinal plant stuff. Uh, I, whenever I'm collecting things, like I save the big bag for the mushrooms, the little bag for plant type materials, or if I have like a wet type mushroom that I don't necessarily want to get on the other mushrooms, I'll use this for it. Like if I'm collecting like jelly fungus and wet ears and things like that, things that get a little gooey, you know, and I don't want it on the rest of my mushrooms, I'll put the other stuff in here and the wet stuff in here. Um, I will do a video on how to do these little leg bags if y'all want. Um, I, I think it's super simple, but if anybody wants to see it, just let me know. I carry, in case I'm wanting to collect roots and stuff, you can buy these in most outdoor sections and some gardening stores too. It is just a folding trowel. And it saves you having to cut down a bush and try to make like a digging stick type thing to dig up roots and stuff. It's very tiny. It weighs nothing. It takes up like no space. And it makes life like I get sassafras roots. Um, we talked about that um, in one of my first videos. I made a uh, sassafras whiskey. And this is why I use when I'm hunting sassafras roots in, in uh, springtime generally. Um, it, it just makes life so much easier. It's, there's no reason to get out here and like, you know, think you have to rough it and act like a cave person. You know, you can do that if you want to and like, and that can be the experience in and of itself, but there's no reason to make it harder than it has to be if you're just like, I do a ton of foraging. I'm not out here to impress anybody. I'm not always filming a YouTube video. I'm not, you know, doing things like that. Sometimes I just want to go get something that I'm going to eat. And so stuff like this makes that whole process so much easier. And the last thing in the bag, uh, silly as it is, is a snack. Take something to eat with you. You want to keep your energy up, you know, especially if you do a lot of hiking and foraging tends to end up being a, a lot of walking. Take a little snack with you, you know, where you can sit down on a bench somewhere or just like, you know, on the ground, on a stump, doesn't matter, and eat something. Um, in this case, just what, what was in the bottom of the bag was, I like kippers, it's a can of kippers. Fine, I'll eat it with the end of my knife after I clean it off. That's, there you go. That with my water, you know, that'll get me through a three to five mile hike, easy. And I won't be, you know, starving to death and suffering by the end of it. But, Anyway, so that is pretty well what I keep in my mushroom bag, in my foraging bag. Generally speaking, I will take my two little bags. This one I keep rolled up, and it's usually the first thing that goes in here, because it sits very nicely in the bottom. Wad this thing up, throw it in there, 
wad up our bandana, stick our cord pretty far down in there in a corner so it doesn't get lost, stick my snack in there, my insect propellant. I also made uh, another side note, if anybody would like to see the video, I'm using this right now just because I was lazy. Um, I also make homemade insect repellents, and if anybody would like to see a video on how to do that, they're all like herbal based, uh, let me know and, and we'll do a video on making herbal insect repellent. So we stick that in there and we kind of get our bag, our bottle down in there. And we are ready to go. If I can get it buttoned because I have nails. And anybody who knows nails sometimes make buttons not work so well. But there we go. That's it. I'm ready to go mushroom hunting. So, different kind of video that I've been doing. But, oh, and like I said, this would be on my belt somewhere. Like, this, the knives don't go in the bag. Um, also, forgot to put that in there. I'm busy talking instead of doing my thing. Sorry. This would also go in here. But anyway, so a little different thing than what I'm used to doing, what I usually do here. But, you know, years ago when I did YouTube, I did a lot of videos like this, thinking about it. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um... I hope everybody's having a happy October. It is October. It's about to be Halloween. That's kind of why I've got this little, little forest fairy thing going on. I've been kind of dressing fun just for the season. Um, but yeah, I thank y'all so much for joining me for this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. So take care and bye.